Welcome to AHK Podcast. Today in English, it's the 1st of April. The Managing Director of the AHK Romania, Sebastian Metz, is sitting in front of me. And we have a guest, Mihaela Toada, an Administrator Public um, of Ilfuf Country Council. Welcome to both of you. Thank you very much for the invitation. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So today we are talking about research and development in Romania. So far, Romania has been considered more of a production location, I would say, from a German perspective. And it's less known for its research and development locations. But there's a movement in the subject. And we are very happy that we could win her, Mrs. Toada, for our podcast today. Of course, we would like to know from you what is um, the Science Park Ufu is all about and what role you play in it. Okay, thank you very much uh, for inviting us and also for uh, presenting our project. Uh, it's a flagship project for uh, County Ilfo and uh, it's benefiting, let's say, this project from the already experience gained by the um, uh, ELI, the, the famous ELI project, the biggest laser. That uh, project that has been financed for the, the last seven years from uh, EU funds under the competitiveness uh, program uh, from uh, finance from the cohesion policy. Uh, probably everybody knows that uh, this, uh, this project, it's a, a fundamental research project trying to, to achieve uh, a big, the, the biggest laser uh, available. And it's part of a European network of lasers. Uh, our idea was to start creating around this project a research community. And this is why the County Council Ilfov, to, together with the um, uh, mayor from, of Magurele, one of our uh, cities, and uh, the uh, National Institute for, uh, for Lasers, started an association uh, back three years ago, and we managed to, to build a community, and uh, we have succeeded in uh, reaching uh, almost 22 research uh, institutes. So most of them are already in the platform of Magurele, because uh, the research platform in, in Magurele is one of the biggest in, uh, in Romania. Uh, also, uh, we have brought together with us two main universities. This is uh, the Politecnica University, the technical, the flagship university, technical uh, university in Romania, and also the University of Bucharest. Uh, we have moved forward on that, and uh, we have brought also representative for the from the business environment. Our goal will, uh, will be to transfer the results of the research, to innovate, and uh, to Uh, share those results with the business environment and uh, move from one idea to a product or maybe an innovative service. Uh, this is why at this moment the community of uh, Magurele Science Park, led at this moment by a um, uh, private association, let's say, where the county council is also a member, it's the association Magurele Science Park, has Besides the 22 uh, partners from the research environment, uh, also um, 33 partners from the business environment. The main sectors that uh, are targeted by, uh, by these communities relate to, to ICT. Uh, more than 58% of the representative of the business environment in our community uh, come from the uh, ICT sector. Uh, also, we have uh, health, 9%, and uh, other type of services, uh, the rest of 15%. Uh, the next step that we have uh, been preparing after uh, creating this, uh, this community was to, to build a location close to the, to the laser. And uh, we called it, uh, let's say, Laser Valley. <laughs> looking for a Silicon Valley example. Yeah. So uh, we have identified, with the support of the um, uh, mayor in Magurele, a plot of land very close to, to Eli, where we have started to prepare the Magurele Science Park. Uh, we are discussing about uh, uh, 
six uh, hectares of, of land uh, where we are going to, to finance this, uh, these facilities. We will have uh, one innovation center, one uh, tech transfer center, and a museum of science. We want to, to have there a live museum following the examples uh, of existing already worldwide, where we want to, to bring uh, the citizens as close as possible to the research and to, to innovation. At this moment, uh, we have the technical project ready. Uh, we uh, already um, finalized the, um, uh, all the procedure for um, authorization uh, in the spot and now we are looking of course for financing uh, means and uh, one of the, the strategic documents that uh, will, uh, will support our financing we believe could be the national plan for, for, uh, for resilience, this new mechanism that the Commission proposed uh, to the member states in order to, to tackle the, the effects of the, uh, the pandemics and also to build and to strengthen the economies of the member states. Uh, here in County Council, uh, Ilfov, we strongly believe in innovation. Unfortunately, Romania doesn't stand very good in ranking uh, in innovation. Basically, we are on the, on the last uh, uh, position in the, in the list. Uh, because probably uh, we, we have big difficulties in transferring the results of the research to the, the business environment and uh, also uh, because um, the, the business environment has no experience in relating to research and researchers. Uh, we want to be that link. So the idea of this park is to, to set this uh, environment to be the link between the needs of the business environment and the results of the, the research and uh, managing to put them together in a co-working space, ensuring the, the, basical, uh, the basic uh, technologies and labs and uh, uptaking this uh, trans technological transfer. So, the, Mrs. Toara, may yes. I interrupt you? Yes, so we please. talked about the status and um, the goals and the target groups. Um, I got two more questions. Um, what, when is the plan to, to be finished? And another question would be, what would be the advantage for um, German companies or the German economy and how could they participate? Um, the project implementation is uh, planned for uh, 48 months. So uh, the entire construction and uh, the landscaping and uh, availability of uh, equipments there. Uh, we plan to, to start the public procurement for construction by the end of this year. So uh, we anticipate that by uh, 2025, 20, beginning of 2026, the entire uh, facility to be uh, fully operational. Okay. Uh, we believe that uh, the, the German companies would uh, highly benefit from um, this infrastructure, from that the, the we, we are targeting three large, let's say, fields. One is digital. And uh, we here we are looking for uh, businesses that uh, have their as main objective uh, artificial intelligence, high performing computing, quantum computing, and uh, cyber security. Uh, also, we uh, we want to to make links between research and business in uh, for uh, renewable energies, uh, carbon storage. Uh, and uh, maybe hydrogen production. And here I want to, to say that, uh, for example, Politechnica University already started fundamental research for producing hydrogen from uh, different sources, like water and uh, maybe even, uh, even waste. So I think that for businesses that um, are in, uh, in the field of energy produce, uh, producing, uh, this uh, research uh, results may be interested. 
interesting. And uh, also the third field would be advanced materials. New materials, biomaterials, um, clean uh, techno materials for uh, for energy. Um. Okay, so um, I got one more question for Mr. Metz and one question for you as well. So thank you so far for the insights. Mr. Metz, what is your perception of Romania as a business location? Um, can we say that it's developing from a manufacturing country to a business location for more complex so solutions like research and development and then transferring to business. Do you observe any approaches like that in the German economy or companies? And Mrs. Tuada, is there, um, is there a national strategic for um, such, such, such transfer, such shift from uh, manufacturing country to um, research and development uh, country? Mr. Metz, would mm -hmm. you start? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, Moritz Metz. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that um, AHK Romania has a very good partnership um, with the Ilfov County. Uh, we are uh, promoting um, uh, this county council surrounding Bucharest um, on different occasions, um, also in the field of uh, uh, professional education. Uh, we are um, cooperating and also for the promotion as an investment uh, location. So that's why I'm very happy that Ms. Twada is over here and um, is sharing um, these insights into this uh, very, very important pilot project um, here in Romania um, located in the Ilfov County. Um, for me, um, being almost uh, 10 years here in Romania, this project is uh, 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 not only a pilot project, but it's uh, It has a very strategic national character, uh, let's say like this, um, uh, and um, I'm very happy that um, this development is taking place because um, I hope that um, different initiatives in other cities or in other regions uh, here in Romania will, will take place. Um, then let me just say, let's have a look um, on, uh, on Romania as an R&D um, uh, location. So, yes, uh, Ms. Torda is maybe right that it's ranked among uh, the last places um, uh, in the rankings, in the European rankings um, um, on, on R&D. But, nevertheless, um, more and more and already very much uh, German companies have built up uh, research and development, especially development activities um, here in Romania. So we are talking about the big automotive component um, supplier companies, um, uh, which have huge thousands of employers, employees in the field of um, development activities. So they are, they are programming uh, at the, uh, on the future of mobility, um, IT, uh, there is a huge IT um, co business community here in Romania who are uh, doing uh, international, who are participating, who are integrated in international projects. So maybe um, Romania is has not um, the the famous reputation as being an R&D um, location, but nevertheless, there is already a lot of R&D, uh, especially development um, activities, which are taking place in the companies and um, also in the German companies. Um, so, and this is not only in the automotive or IT sector, uh, it is in, in various sectors, um, uh, electronic, um, etc., which is uh, taking place here in, in, in Romania. And um, this is not only inside the companies, we know and we see that an in, in increasing numbers um, of cooperation is taking Taking place between universities and German companies, be it in Timisoara, in Cluj, in CBO, in Yash. Uh, so there is already a good collaboration between German companies and uh, universities in the field of development and research activities. Definitely, there's room for improvement. Definitely, there is room for increasing activities. Uh, but the, but we can build on uh, something. And um, this podcast is also there in order to 
let's say, to distribute these information and to create a little bit appetite uh, to uh, yeah to 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 look at Romania um, not only for manufacturing for production um, but also uh, for uh, increasing development and research activities. So um, yeah, this um, would be. Uh, my message for today. And Mrs. Torda, how does it look yes. like with the strategic uh, paper for um, such topic? Uh, Romania, I, uh, I think right now it's um, pretty much close to finalizing the national strategy for small specialization, uh, which has a very large component in uh, for uh, technological transfer and, and innovation. In addition to that, uh, this national framework uh, has dedicated uh, regional smart specialization plans. Each region of Romania, the eight regions, are now developing their smart specialization uh, uh, plans. This means that at regional level, um, everybody wants to, to identify the fields where they have an, uh, an advantage Uh, in transferring the results of the research and uh, support an economy uh, based on uh, on knowledge. Uh, as I said, unfortunately, uh, by by now, uh, even if Romania has invested, as already mentioned by uh, by you, uh, significant amount, not may, maybe not the the biggest, but uh, significant amount in uh, in research. We have been target, uh, targeted mainly the, the fundamental research, which is extremely important, of course, and uh, creates uh, an appetite, let's say. But we somehow failed by, uh, by now to, to transfer this, uh, these results. And uh, this has a, a, an impact, a big impact on the competitiveness of uh, Romanian SMEs and on the business environment uh, in, uh, in Romania. Uh, now we have to look what is happening around the, around the world, not only around Europe. And uh, we are now discussing about uh, full uh, digitalization in businesses and in public administration. We are discussing about uh, green energy, where uh, small steps have been taken in terms of uh, discovering, let's say, new uh, green so, uh, energy sources, but still important steps have to have to be taken. And I, I know that uh, Germany, for example, had uh, invested a uh, significant amount in uh, uh, mobility uh, based on hydrogen, but this is uh, still the beginning. And now we are trying to align with this. Uh, we have the resources, but we are still uh, missing this uh, this link, and this is the place where Magurele Science Park will uh, will fit in to to be this link between uh, between the business and uh, and the research, and to build the trust of these two 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 partners, and uh, maybe why not have some uh, startups uh, in uh, very uh, small. Uh, but uh, interesting uh, sectors like, like uh, as I said, uh, green energy, uh, renewables, and cybersecurity. You know that recently Romania uh, was uh, established as the, the member state uh, that will foster the cybersecurity, European cybersecurity uh, center. And uh, we uh, intend to ho to host in our uh, in our park um, the competence center uh, for uh, this uh, cybersecurity uh, European cybersecurity uh, uh, okay. center, yep. European center. We just tried to contact them. We didn't know how far the whole project is and if they have already a small office here or not. And we found out uh, they don't have. Uh, interesting to hear that um, they might come to your place. Uh, not the uh, actual center, but their competence cent center okay. where the testing and uh -huh. uh, the, the research uh, can take place. And okay, uh, I believe that we, we made the important steps. And all the business environment can benefit on the results of this competence center because everybody will be able to see in actual life 
how uh, they can uh, they can use the results of the research in terms of uh, cyber security which i think it's uh, something that is preoccupying everybody <laughs> these days yeah. due to this move to to virtual space so we can say there there's really something developing in romania um I'd like to finish here and to thank uh, thanks to you both and um, yeah, especially you, Mrs. Tuara. Thank you for your time and your expertise. For all listeners who are even more interested in research and development in Romania, my colleagues uh, Iliana Rusu and uh, Roxana Dumitrescu they worked on a brochure on that topic. With all the important locations in Romania, it's possible to download uh, the teaser on our web page. And if you um, get in touch with us, we'd send you the whole leaflet. Um, yeah, thank you. I wish you all the best. Stay healthy and goodbye. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care.